15 keys to negotiation. Your ability to get along with others is perhaps the most important skill you can develop if you really want to be successful and happy in business and in life. Today, everything is relationship. The successful people in almost every field are relationship experts. They have taken the time and made the efforts to be very effective in their dealings with others, and it pays off for them in better ways. However, the most valued form of intelligence in our society, one that pays the most and one that will make you happiest, is the social intelligence. This is the ability to interact and communicate effectively with others in a variety of situations. Daniel Goleman of Harvard University calls this quality emotional intelligence. He shows that EQ is more important than IQ in accounting for success and business in life. The good news is that emotional intelligence is not genetically determined or limited. It consists of a series of interpersonal skills you can learn via practice and repetition. Your ability to interact and communicate, persuade and negotiate with others determines your income more than any other factor. Your ability to get along well with others accounts for perhaps 85% of your happiness. It is therefore well worth your while to do everything possible to be very good in this area. In sense of all life's negotiation, when you are infant, you negotiate for the attention of your parents by crying loudly to be fed or changed. Your currency in trade is hugs and kisses, or just lying peacefully. Every child knows that her expression of happiness and affection can be traded for food, attention, warmth, toys, and others. Children learn very early to trade this currency very skillfully, since it's all they have to trade, so to speak. They spend it carefully. You are always negotiating in some way. When you drive from one place to another, you negotiate through traffic, letting others get in front of you and you get in front of others. When you go to a restaurant, you negotiate first of all to get a table and then to get the kind of table you most like. You negotiate all elements of your work and all the things you do or don't do. You negotiate prices, you negotiate terms, you negotiate everything. Some of the important keys of negotiation include the following. Number one, everything is negotiable. All prices or terms are set by someone, so therefore they can be changed by someone. Prices are best guess estimate of what the customer will pay. This idea of negotiation can also be referred to as the universal law of negotiation. Number two, futurity. Here the purpose of a negotiation is to enter into an agreement such that both parties have their needs satisfied and are motivated to fulfill their agreements and enter into further negotiations with the same party in the future. Number three, Win-win or no deal. In a successful negotiation, both parties are fully satisfied with the results and feel that they have each one or no deal should be made. It is an outcome that satisfies the both party. Number four, unlimited possibilities. You can always get a better deal if you know how. Here you never need to settle for less or feel dissatisfied with results of any negotiation. There is always a way that you can get better terms or prices, whether you are buying or selling. If you want a better deal, you ask for it. Whether it be suggested price, react with surprise and disappointment. Always imply you can do better elsewhere. Number five, the four main issues. There are four main issues to be decided upon in any negotiation. Everything else is dependent on this. Of the four main issues in any negotiation, one will be the main issue and three will be the secondary issue. For example, you may decide to buy a new car. The four main issues to be decided might be the price, trade and value of your new car, color and accessory. 
Warranty and services policies will be important but secondary issue. Number six, timing. Timing is everything in negotiation. A negotiation can be made or unmade by the time at which it takes place. There is too soon and too late in every situation. The more urgent the need, the less effective the negotiator. The person who allows himself to be rushed will get the worst out of the bargain. You resolve 80% of the vital issues of any negotiation in the last 20% of the time allocated to the negotiation. Number seven, the terms. The terms of payment can be more important than the price in a negotiation. Many products such as homes, cars are sold more on the terms of payment and the interest rates than on actual price or the product itself. Number eight, 80% of more of your success in any negotiation will be determined by how well you prepare in advance. Action without planning is the cause of every failure. Negotiating without preparation is the cause of just about every poor deal that you get. Number nine, authority. You can only negotiate successfully with a person who has the authority to approve the terms and conditions you agree upon. You must determine in advance if the other party has the authority to make the deal. When dealing with someone who cannot make the final decision, you must represent yourself as unable to make the final decisions either. Number 10. Reversal. Putting yourself in the situation of other person enables you to prepare and negotiate more effectively. This is also called the lawyer's method of negotiation. This negotiation method sharpens your negotiation skills. Number 11. Power. The person with the greater power, real or imagined, will get the better deal in any negotiation. Your ability to recognize both your power and the power of the other person is critical to your success in negotiating. You must continually think about the situation from the other person's point of view so that you can position yourself for the maximum benefit to yourself. The power is a matter of perception. It is in the eyes of the beholder. You can create the perception of power being able to help or hinder a person in some way with boldness and creativity. The three most important keys of negotiating are power, preparation, and timing. And of all the three, power is the more persuasive one. Number 12, desire. The person who wants negotiation to succeed has the least bargaining power. Skilled negotiator must appear both polite and uninterested. Number 13, reciprocity. People who have deep subconscious need to reciprocate are everywhere with the need to reciprocate for everything that is done to or for them. One of the best negotiation strategy is to be willing to give in order to get. Number 14, the walk away key. You never know the final price until you get up and walk away. You may negotiate back and forth, bargaining over various details of the deal for a long time, but you never really know the best deal you can get until you make it clear that you are prepared to walk out of the negotiation completely. Number 15, finality. No negotiation is ever final. It often appears that once a negotiation is complete, one of the parties think of some things or becomes aware of an issue that has not been satisfactorily resolved. If you are not happy with the existing agreement, you can always ask to reopen the negotiation. Use the zero-based thinking on a regular basis by asking yourself, if I could negotiate this arrangement over again, would I agree on the same terms? <laughs> In summary, negotiation is a normal and natural part of life. You owe it to yourself to become very skilled at it. As in anything else, the key to excellence is practicing at any given opportunity. Make it a game. 
Ask for what you really want. Ask for better price, better terms, better conditions, better interest rates, and better everything. Realize that you can save yourself the equivalent of months and even years of hard work by learning to be an excellent negotiator on your own behalf. And you can, if you think you can, you can if you just ask. Thank you for staying to the end. Like and subscribe to our channel, Talking Live.